Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. In this video, we're going to be setting up the rest of the Proxbox cluster in the form of Ceph. So, I've already installed Ceph on Proxbox 1, which is RHT Prox, uh, PXM01, uh, which I'll show you right here. Ceph is already installed. Now, it's not fully configured. That'll be coming up. Proxmox 2, you go ahead and you would just, like I did in the first one, you'll click Install Ceph. We're going to choose No Subscription, Brief, and the No Subscription is because I do not have an Enterprise Subscription on my cluster. Uh, so I would just use the No Subscription. Um, enterprise licenses are great for support in case you need it. Uh, however, you can actually fully use Proxmox without having a full license. Okay. There's already a configuration for when I did the first one. Here, basically, you would choose the public uh, public network and the cluster network. Uh, in my case, my hosts only have one network interface, so I just used the one that was available for the VM bridge. Uh, ultimately, you'd want to have systems that have a secondary interface that would be low latency. So. We're just going to finish it on this last host, so we'll do a little jump cut. Alright, now as you can see, status is saying health warning, the default pool size of 3, everything like that is there. So the cluster is basically running on Proxmox, we have a monitor on Proxmox 1. Now what we're going to do, okay. We're going to create the OSD. In this case, I am using the 500 gig, I know small, but 500 gig uh, hard drive that's on each of these hosts. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and hit, leave it as SDA. We're going to leave the use OSD disk, no, no changes, hit create. Here you can see what it's doing. Task is okay. We're going to go ahead and reload, create the next next one. We're going to choose host two, create OSD. Let it use the SDA.
Go to host 3, create the OSD. Once all of these are up and loaded and running as blue stores, give that one a minute. I'm going to force that one up. There we go. Now we can go ahead and go to Ceph file system or excuse me, pools, create, give it a name. I'm just going to say, I'm going to do cluster FS. Size is three, meaning three hosts. We're going to add a storage. Uh, autoscaler mode can be remain on. Let's see. Everything looks good under advanced. So we're going to hit create. All right, now if you go down to your data center, go to storage, you'll see that clusterfs is now there. It's good for disk images and containers. And it is shared and it's enabled. So now we can actually create a VM under the clustered file system. In my case, there's a small drive. It's only 500 gigs per host. So not a lot of storage. But that is actually why I have my uh, large volume NAS, which is 11 terabytes. So, but this is again a home lab. But there's a quick rundown of how you can set up Ceph in your Proxmox environment. Thank you very much. Please make sure to check out ravenhawktech.com and also uh, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.